Hey guys, before this video starts, I want to give a couple of updates on the channel before we get started with this video. First of all, I'm going to have two videos coming out sometime soon, another Ari video and a Lee Sin video, which are all comedy videos, but you'll get those soon. I've just been really lazy on getting those out because, let's face it, for some reason on my computer nowadays, it's really hard to edit this shit like with Adobe Premiere Pro. I might just go back and switch back to uh, Sony Vegas Pro just because it's just the less of a hassle when it comes to recording and editing, but whatever, I'm just gonna hold off on that for now, but you can expect those videos um, sometime soon. Um, also, I'm gonna be making another announcement video on um, $10 worth of RP giveaway. So if you haven't watched that video, basically on I should, it's a good idea to kind of get some flow coming through the channel and getting some more viewers and subscribers for, you know, just for watching something, you know, just enjoying your stay. So the situation is to go onto my how to not play mouse hard video and come up with your funniest insult. If you're subscribed and you come up with the funniest insults, then you will win $10 worth of RP specifically from me. Anyways, enough of that, let's get back onto the video. So Video Game Donkey posted a video on his channel about how he claims to be done recording League of Legends videos, or should I say quit making League of Legends videos? My voice just went up right there. So, and just, I have no idea if he's entirely serious about this, whether it's just a joke, or if it's just a prank, or anything like that, but honestly, assuming that he is serious about this, I thought I'd give my two cents on this, because I have a little bit of things to say about Meteor Donkey. Specifically the League of Legends community. So a little insight about the video itself. Basically the scenario is Donkey records footage for a video, an upcoming video, and gets banned in the process for trash talking to other players while playing. Honestly, I'm not my, myself, I'm not a big fan of trash talking. If anything, I am against it and will try to do anything in my power to calm down a situation if it arises in one of my games. Especially if it's on my team, or if it's just in general, if I'm talking to someone and there's this trash talk going on, I would do a lot of things in my power to just attempt to stop it, or at the very least, ignore it. But he gets banned for trash talking to other players, in this instance, a feeding Malphite in ranked. And ADC Orianna, Jungle Darius, Support Riven, those types of things, you know, on the road to Diamond. And he's banned from, as of today, it's August, September 12th, and he's banned until September 17th, which is a week's worth of a ban. But that's not really what I want to talk about. The one thing, but the one thing I want to talk about is the thing that he points out is just the fact that he thinks that he should deserve a little bit of recognition for this because, you know, he's been doing League of Legends videos for four years and he thinks that, you know, is an important figure in the League of Legends community and we should be a little more on the leeway for when it comes to things like this because when it comes to trash talking, it's just, it's kind of his job. Just the fact that, you know, he monetizes his videos and this is how he gets paid. And yes, there's other things he can do, but the League of Legends videos is what a lot of people come for, specifically me. I, mean, I watch his other videos, but I am very look forward to a lot of the League of Legends videos. And now that he can't really do a lot of the material that he provides us with for a lot of times, it kind of art breaks me a bit, you know, but I'm not really going to talk about that. What I really want to talk about is, I'm sorry, what I really want to talk about is the fact that according to both of us, in our opinion, there is so many much worse things and more better things to, not better, but more important things to be banned for, like cheating or feeding or, you know, stuff like that, you know. But for trash talking, I just don't see a point in the tribunal looking for these cases, honestly, because in my own opinion, I believe that it should be the responsibility of the other players to be able to just basically grow a pair of fucking balls and just ignore other people trash talking because to me it's a valuable skill to be at the very least 
ignore other players that are trash talking to you or other players but specifically to you or to even try to calm down the situation or just to you know something like that i think that's something that the tribunal should not be preventing other people from learning but for other people to basically learn how to you know deal with this kind of stuff because not even in League of Legends, this is stuff that goes on through our everyday lives, whether it's parents arguing with each other, or you have bullies at school, or in the office, or any co-workers and stuff like that. All sorts of arguing and just mean kind of talk, you know, and yelling just goes around and stuff. You can't yell in League of Legends because it's text-based, but still. What I'm trying to say is that Banning people for trash talking is sort of limiting the ability of the other players to be able to think for themselves and to, you know, learn sort of like how to not necessarily like talk back and trash talk against these other players. Because honestly, just in my opinion, trash talking honestly just gets you nowhere. It only creates more time out of your whatever you're doing to just talk back badly against these players because. Honestly, if someone's trash talking to you, it just means that they honestly have nothing better to do and they're put in a position where they feel like they just have to put the blame on you. Or just, you know, really fucking bored and just have honestly nothing better to do. But in my own experiences, it's really just other players trying to put their mistakes onto me. And trash talking in a way it really doesn't benefit you or the other players, assuming you're trash talking, because if you're trash talking to someone saying, oh, we're doing this wrong, do this, you fucking faggot, you know? It's not gonna make the other player you're trash talking to a better player, like if you're complaining about someone feeding and how they're doing this wrong, and you should be doing it your way, or you suck. It's not going to help the other player at all, you know, in terms of learning. It's only just gonna put more pressure on that player, and that player is just gonna do much worse, you know? So, I think a better approach to... Now, honestly, even in my own shoes, I probably would trash talk because a lot, of the, a lot of things in League of Legends do annoy me. And it's very tempting to just talk trash to other players, but... I just control myself and just, you know, say, hey, it's not gonna help this player in any way. It's, you're, you're using your own energy, you know, it's being able to just make someone else feel bad about themselves, even even in, if even if you're uh, in your eyes, they probably should, not in mine, but, you know, it's just, be the better person, that's what I'm trying to say, be the better person in terms of not trash talking to other people, or if someone else is trash talking, be the better person and be the example of how to not trash talk or how to act appropriately in a situation, you know? That's something that should be that should be the right way to come across in terms of you put in a situation like that, and it's just a valuable skill to learn basically how to ignore trash talking, and that can simply be done just by muting the other players or if you're really so sort of just flat out ignore it or if you're ballsy like me, just kind of point out you know how it's not really gonna help other players in terms of you know making them feel good about themselves you know it's only gonna make you feed worse and make your teammates do worse and that's how you lose by trash talking to other players and if you're serious about playing League of Legends I honestly think that should be a skill that's worth learning because it's obviously something that you can't learn on your own, but it's something that should be practiced and practiced. Self-control in terms of not only trash talking, but in other temptations in the world too. And the tribunal banning people for trash talking is just only short limiting the other player's abilities to be able to learn this type of stuff. And I'm gonna be honest, I think the report system is just a way of Riot saying, hey, here's something you can do to calm yourself down, but we're not gonna take a look at those reports because your reports don't mean shit to us. You know, I feel like reporting doesn't even do anything because honestly, I report for the most realist of things and for a really good reason in terms of someone feeding on purpose, being an unsport unsportsmanlike and stuff like that, and nothing ever happens. I think it's just a way of people of Riot to say, here, shut the fuck up. If you're mad, why don't you just report someone? But we're not gonna do anything about it, you know? That's honestly my opinion on the tribunal system. 
And you can argue with me in different ways about that. I know that they do listen, but I feel like that it's just only when the majority says something about that because, you know, I can name a couple of people that are just, you know, very under pressured in terms of reporting people because, you know, some people might feel threatened or something like that or anything, but that's just honestly my own two takes on the tribunal system. And you can argue with me whenever you want. Um, you can argue about me about anything I say. I am more than happy to be able to be open up to debate about these types of things, you know. I'm not saying I'm right about whatever I'm talking about right now, but it's just honestly my own opinion, something that can be debated against. And I'd like to see what you guys would have to think about this too, about the terms of, you know, how the League of Legends community should behave in terms of dealing with trash talking and, you know, the tribunal system and just how banning people for something as stupid as trash talking when there's other important things that people should be banned for, like cheating or, you know, feeding myself on purpose and being unsportsmanlike, you know? It's, I can, un I can understand where Riot comes from, you know, making a friendly community, you know, in terms of a place where everyone can get along and have a good game and just being friendly to each other. But honestly, that only works in a fictional world and will not ever exist in the present that we exist in today. There is never ever going to be a day where you're gonna go with someone that doesn't argue at all. You're always gonna run up, run up, run into something such as trash talking in almost every day of your life. There is no perfect world where you're never gonna run into trash talking and that will never exist. This is some- this is- I can see where Riot's coming from. Wanting to make the community a better place and less toxic by banning players for trash talking. But that's not the right way to go about it. Banning people like that is honestly just not a good way- uh, not the appropriate way to approach this. Because it's never gonna get fixed and you're teaching- you're shortcoming the people who actually want to learn self-control like that. You're just limiting them to not even- practice those abilities at all but yeah that's just something that i just want to put out there just for you know my own two cents about it if you want to have a debate about it leave yourself in the comments i'd be more than happy to answer those and that's all the time i have today stay foxy guys and toodles